In today's video we are going to see the incredible power contained in the pitchforks, and you will understand why they are one of the most accurate technical analysis tools ever created. There are several complicated reasons for why that's the case, but that's already covered in the Newtonian Trading Strategy video course. Without further ado, let's see how the intersection of opposing pitchforks can show you insanely accurate reversal points in price. Let's first begin analyzing the price vectors from number 1 to number 3 by placing a simple pitchfork on the three alternating highs and lows. The first thing that catches our attention is the resistance created by the center line of the fork as you can see in number 4. Price is hitting that line a few times, and judging by the size of those upper tails, it seems like there is selling pressure around that area. I will not go into detail about the other reasons that's the case like the supply zone that exists in the price vector between number 2 and number 3. In this video I just want to show you the capabilities of the pitchforks. Let's duplicate this same fork we already have in the chart. By duplicating the fork and then modifying it, we will be able to observe an incredible effect. Notice how the opposing lines of the two pitchforks intersect exactly in the upper tail of candle number 4. That candle is the origin of the price vector from number 4 to number 5, and therefore, it is a reversal point. Observe also how this modified fork points to the low number 5 with good precision. This is what happens when you find pitchforks that are in tune with price action. Let's move on to the next price vector from number 4 to number 5. Let's also repeat the same process of the previous vector. We will place a regular pitchfork from number 2 to number 4, then we will duplicate this pitchfork, and we will finally modify it. These two pitchforks give us some new interesting perspectives on the surroundings of low number 5. Price uses one of the outer lines of the steeper pitchfork as a support line, meaning that price drifts away from that fork and then comes back to its outer line to test it as if it was a sloped support line. The even more amazing fact is that the center line of the modified fork is locking the lower tails of those candles near low number 5. Observe how the outer line of the regular fork intersects with the center line of the modified fork in the lower tail of a major reversal point of this market. We can move on now to the price vectors between number 3 and number 5. By drawing a regular pitchfork in lows 3 to 5, we can already spot an interesting dynamic. Using this fork as a frame of reference, we can see that there is a frequency shift occurring right at the beginning of the fork. We can mark this shift by drawing lines that run parallel to the fork and come out precisely from the extreme of the price shift. If we duplicate this shifted line to the upside of the fork respecting Newton's third law, we will be able to see how highs number 6 and number 8 reach the shifted line exactly. We can also repeat the same steps from the previous vectors by duplicating this fork and then modifying it to see what comes out. By doing that we see that the modified fork acts as a resistance for the middle of the vector between number 5 and number 6, and it acts as a support for low number 7. This is not a perfect intersection, but the center line of the modified fork is meeting the lower line of the regular fork to point the reversal point number 7. There are more conclusions we can derive from the internal geometry of the price vector from number 3 to number 5. If we duplicate the modified fork to the upside a few times, we will be able to see how the outer lines of the fork catch highs number 6 and number 8 with very good precision. These are also intersections of opposing forks if we take into account the shifted lines that were drawn previously. We can now move on to the price vectors from number 4 to number 6 and place a regular pitchfork in the most important highs and lows found in that portion of price. As you can see the center line of the pitchfork points to the low number 7 with pretty good accuracy. Remember that there were already other fork lines running through number 7, so that can also be considered a multiple intersection. The modified fork also points beautifully to high number 8, which already had other lines passing through. It's important that you realize that simple highs and lows hide certain pathways and lines that very few people can see. Having this sort of capacity will certainly allow you to have an edge over the other traders that are stuck with tools which possess only a small fraction of the pitchfork capacity. If you wish to learn about the deeper details of pitchforks and other interesting ideas about econophysics, check out the Newtonian trading strategy in the strategy store available in the video description. If you like these videos and wish to support the channel, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, activate the notifications button so you don't miss any future uploads, and leave your feedback below in the comment section.
Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next videos.